Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to teach someone to ride a unicycle. We have uh, an in a very good instructional guide on our FAQ, but we thought a video might be that little bit better. We'll go through all the different steps of getting the new person on a unicycle and then how to progress once they're on the unicycle and then their first steps of actually riding and how to assist them. That's probably the better way of putting it, how to teach them. Um, other than that, let's get straight into it. Eh? Right, so if we're gonna get started teaching someone to unicycle, I'm gonna actually need someone to teach. So this is Roger. Roger can't ride a unicycle. Um, and we're gonna teach him the basic steps of getting on the unicycle first. So the first thing we need to do is obviously if we get the unicycle, is we need to set the saddle height. Quick, easy way of doing this is the saddle should be just below the rider's belly button. So if we quickly, undo this, stick it in there, and then compare it to Roger, and Roger tell us if that's about right. There you go, so that's a very, very rough guide. It might be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but that's a good place to start. Then next, we need to decide which is Roger's dominant foot. A little bit of an easy way of doing this is when you give him a unicycle, and if you get sat on the unicycle now, whichever foot he goes to put on the unicycle first is his dominant foot. And now we know that, and like I said, again, works 99% of the time, but that's his dominant foot. So if he gets that nice and comfy on the pedal now, and I can move round, and this is the next bit. So if I get hold of Roger's hand, and I take my other hand and put it under his elbow, we're gonna get him up onto the unicycle. And obviously Roger has is next to the wall, so he's got a bit more balance to the wall. And you can see the pedals, are basically the top and bottom, like 12 and six o'clock position. We need to just walk him forward just a little bit. There's lots of pressure on your hands and on the elbows to get the pedals in that sort of three o'clock, nine o'clock position. And then obviously remind him to stay sat down and look forward, get a bit comfy. And that's the basics of getting on the unicycle. And then we'll move forward to the next bit. Right, so the next bit is finding balance. Obviously, the last bit we got the rider up onto the unicycle and they're still there. Um, the next bit is the little bits that we can practice when they're there. So obviously there's little tiny things that every new rider tries to lift themselves out of the saddle. So it's a constant reminder to be sat down. Stay sat down in the saddle, takes the pressure off your legs. It helps you trying to learn to ride. The next bit is looking where the rider's actually looking. Because if, if I'm stood like that, I look down, the unicycle's gonna fall forward. So it's the same, the rider needs to be looking up, not like crazy looking up at the sky, but looking forward, if you know what I mean. Um, and then the next bit is little movements, because we're just trying to find a bit of balance here and a bit comfortable. And obviously you need to be leaning on the wall, but you can obviously still, like we did in the last bit, you can keep all of their hand. If they're still struggling to stay on the unicycle, you can keep them up. But remembering to have hold of the hand and hold of the elbow, not holding the unicycle at all. Um, and then the next bit, what they're going to be doing is doing little tiny movements. I don't know if you can see that here, if we just come in a bit closer. See how Roger's just moving the unicycle, just a little bit backwards and forwards. That's just you finding a bit of balance on the unicycle and effectively getting a bit comfortable. Now this whole thing, this whole finding balance bit is probably about 10 to 20 minutes that you want to spend doing this or your rider wants to spend doing this and this is just sort of a little entry thing before we move on to the next bit which we'll do right now right the next bit of learning to ride is actually how to get off the unicycle or dismounting this is a skill that you need to get off the unicycle safely so what we're going to do is we're going to i'm going to assist roger the first time and what you want him to be doing or the riders to be doing, I should be saying, is stepping off of the unicycle, staying stood up straight, and not holding on to the unicycle. Because obviously if you try and catch the unicycle, that might cause an injury. You don't need to, just let the unicycle drop away and hit the floor, and it's totally fine. So, let's do that one first. All right, get a hold of Roger's hand and elbow like we've done previously, and then Roger's gonna step off, let the unicycle drop away, and obviously I can keep hold of him up straight, and he's looking forward, and he can keep his hand on the wall, so that means He's not going to get injured basically and um, yeah safe mount what we'll do is we'll do that one more time 
but I won't be in so you can see the unicycle moving away and you can see it again. Right, so let's see that one more time without the assisting and let the unicycle drop away. So yeah, a nice safe way of getting off the unicycle and obviously when your ride is very new you probably have to help them a few times and then once they start to fall off they can obviously do it like Roger just did and you probably want to spend five to ten minutes doing this throughout obviously learning to ride um, and then once you've got this skill we can move on to the next bit. So the next bit is actually moving. Obviously Roger's still sat on the unicycle, is it, is it comfortable there? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to assist the person moving along. So it's the same thing again. I'll get a hold of Roger's hand and his elbow. I'm going to use the wall and the support I've got here. And we're going to slowly ride along the wall. And this is obviously the first part of learning to unicycle. So if I let go of Roger's hand a minute, the next bit we're going to do is where you think the rider is comfortable enough where they can ride along the wall without you holding on. So there will be a lad bit where you support them and then when they get comfy, they can ride along touching the wall. We'll reset and we'll start again. Right, so next, like we are saying, my ride is nice and comfortable and he can ride along the wall. What you need to look for, look for as, as the teacher, what you need to look for, I should say, is that your rider sat down as he starts to ride and he's looking forward. As soon as they look down when they start to ride, it's not gonna work. Obviously the body weight is naturally gonna make them fall off. And then it's pedal rotations. So if they, if that Roger demonstrates now, three o'clock to nine o'clock, like in a jerky motion, like that, see how he wiggles backwards and forward. You need to think of smooth circles as they're riding. Obviously this comes with practice. And if you have to hold the hand as they're riding again, it's not the worst thing in the world, but they can now practice like this for typically 30 to 60 minutes, riding up and down, up and down the wall. And if you've got a big haul that can keep going for quite a while um, and then the next we'll move on to the next thing the next bit is launching off starting to ride the unicycle and um, the first things that you need to do with that is obviously is your rider confident with the, everything that we've just done so getting on falling off all of the above and then the next bit is check around make sure there's no obstacles that you can crash into obviously making sure that there's nothing in the way um, and then not going slowly. Sounds really silly, but if you go really slowly when you start to obviously launch into the space, you're more likely to fall off. Um, and then you can do the whole holding hand thing. So if you go over here, keep all Roger's hand, and then we're gonna ride along the wall a little bit first, and then he's away from the wall, ride in, ride in, ride in, and then he'll fall off. It's going to happen every time, but that's the process you as the teacher can do to help them to ride. Um, and then we'll reset again, obviously as your rider gets a bit more confident, we can move on to this bit. So you've done that a bit, holding a hand and they've gone off the wall a few times and they're starting to get a bit comfortable. So now they can ride away from the wall or ride along the wall a little bit, a few little taps. And away they go. And then that's basically practicing launching and that will in the end end up making them ride. And this is very, how long you do this can take quite a while. The rider might get it really quickly. But again, it's a 30 to 60 minute practice in this launching thing. You as the teacher holding the hand and practicing and going from there. Um, and yeah, move on to the next bit. So another bonus launching is you can have your rider with the back to the wall and they push off from the wall. And this is a good practice of how to step off the unicycle as well. Like Roger will just demonstrate now. So if he gets up, he's got both hands on the wall behind him. Pedals at a roughly three o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock position, I should say. And he launches off the wall and then steps off. So let's give that a go. Okay. It's a good practice. And obviously when they're a bit more comfy, we'll actually get away from the wall. So we'll just reset now. Just like that. Right, so there you go. There's the basics of how to teach someone to unicycle. After that though, it's the, you've got a few other little points like repeating. So just go back and do the steps that we've pro, we've gone over. Just do them again. Practice, practice, practice. Always helps. Um, the next bit is area and location. So obviously where you're learning to ride is kind of important when you learn to ride yourself. So you don't want, really want to be learning on grass. It's really bad. So nice, smooth, flat surface, gymnasiums, tennis courts, football pitches, 
that sort of that sort of stuff somewhere nice and smooth um next um little things that everybody always forgets about is checking your shoes have you got good shoes on are there are your shoes shoelaces nice and tucked and up out of the way because you don't want them getting top tangled into the unicycle when you learn to ride i've done it before it sucks um next is checking the unicycle so just before you get on it give the unicycle a little drop and a bounce so nothing's rattling or loose or anything like that that'll make it even harder to ride or learn to ride i should say if the unicycle's not right um, and then next little things is safety gear. Obviously, as you learn to ride, you don't really need a lot of safety gear because you're not really going that fast, but maybe a helmet just in case and definitely a set of gloves because you might stumble and go down on your hands. But other than that, it's not massively needed. Um, and then other than that, it's just practice. Everybody starts at exactly the same point um, and everybody has to practice and do the same thing. So yeah, just keep at it and you will get something eventually. And then, other than that, if you could do one of them YouTube things, is it like, share, subscribe? It changes every time I ask you, but if you could do one of them things, it would be much appreciated. Uh, and other than that, thanks for watching, guys. To ride the unicycle away from the wall. Um, I've completely forgot everything. <laughs> <laughs>